One, two, three, four, five. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, good people. Coming y'all live from Ted's TV. I told y'all I was going to have something special for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I put it out there. And the inbox going crazy. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Before I even, I'm not even going to speak his, I ain't going to speak his name. But I'm going to tell you this. He's a king right now. Can't speak your name. Before we before we get started, where you from? Oh man, <laughs> Hold on, don't, don't speak up for us. You gotta speak up for us. Yeah, already. Now, when he say the, the Great Lafayette Project, right? The Great Lafayette Project had a, a, a bunch of legends, uh, a bunch of East Baltimore legends come out, out of there playing, ba uh, playing basketball. And I'm still learning about that, so I'm not going to speak too much on it. So, but we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it pushing. Let, let us know Let us know about your childhood a, a, a little bit. What elementary school, what elementary school you went to? And, 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 and how was it growing up? Oh, man, well, you know, mom was single. You know, pops caught a bit when I was four years old. Came home when I was 14. Um, so it was me and my sister. Mom was from 11 to 11, so my sister went to my mother. She stayed kidding me every day. Um, shout out to Shawana Phillips. Shout Shawana out. Phillips. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. Um, but yeah, man, so... Uh, you know, never had no big brother, you know, there had no father to my style, so I never had, like, no blueprint. Um, so the things I kind of learned, I had to go out there and get burned. I had to jump in the fire, you know. Um, you know, I'll make a long story short, I'm sorry, I'm a long story long. Um, I went to, I went to 139, Charles Curl Curl, and I got put out by my first elementary school, and he said, you want to go to So it, it was like what? Now, give me your mindset at this time. Like, give your mindset at this time. When did? When did? When was? Uh, when was the age that you first picked up a ball? And who introduced the ball to you? Hold on, speak up, speak up. You got to be a little loud. Thank you. 
we should just chill. So I get the chain, I'm chilling, I'm watching the game, all these things. Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson. <laughs> behind me, man. So I, I put my, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm like, go back behind his back. And as a kid, he's being magic. He's like, oh, I, oh I, I like this. So, so to be honest with you, I'm going to ask you, Scott, look. Look. Oh, all right, all right, now, now we can go in. We going into this. We going into this now. Going into your freshman year, you going into your freshman year. You going down southern, right? Going down southern, what was your mindset going down there and you knowing all these guys, all this talent down there? And then you going to play with the legendary Coach Smitty. Was there any pressure? Did you feel any pressure at this time? Or you was just like, oh, I'm I'm here. Okay. Hold on. I need you to talk up, right? I need you to talk up. And for the people, for the people, he's saying John Johnny Hesby. I'm talking about he's a he, 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 he's a he's a Southern Bulldog. Had his team rated in the top 15 at one time. I know it's senior year. Ended up going down to Miami and ended up going down to Miami Hurricanes. He, he, he had a chance to, uh, to catch that lead. So we talk about one player right there. Another player, he talked about Mark Carter. That's my favorite basketball player of all time from the city. You know what I'm saying? So these guys that he's speaking on, these just ain't no ordinary guys. So go ahead, speak your piece, Ken. Now, people, hold up. My father interrupted you because I got it. Now, when he talk about the, down the dome, midnight madness, this is a legendary court in, in our town in Baltimore City. You know what I'm saying? You had to be, you 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 had to you, you have to know how to play ball to play. I'm talking about unlimited. Well, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't talking about the high school thing. No. So when he when he's speaking of these, because you have guys like Sam Cassell, other pros and Pros of them, uh, uh, pros of that nation coming back and playing. So, so when he's speaking on the dome and things like that, yeah, look at it. It's not, it's not a regular league. This is a pro am league that was at nighttime. It was love. And go ahead, continue. You know, um, so I felt like I was, you know, I was playing with the best of the best. You know, Working out. But if I big game on the dome, 
talk no cars watching me with them. Like, well, why are you looking dumb? You think about me? You think about nobody but me? You know, so I always call the thrills and I just got that vibe of putting that grind in with me. It was never about what the public eyes saw. You know, so when the light shine and it was time for the whistle to blow, on that real stage, I performed. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro, hold up, bro. Because they said, let me, let me, let me tell you about this. This is what I heard. This, they say you was like this. Your workout in high school, your workout in high school was crazy. Like you shooting like damn near five hundred jump shots. You know what I'm saying? And you and you doing this outside outside courts. It don't matter. You getting it at like you was. Damn near like you was locked up type shit. You, you but you you put that work in. Go ahead. Is it is it, is, it, is it the street just is that just the streets talking like that? Oh, let me, let us know. Let, let, tell us about your your regimen. What would you, what you do? <laughs> yeah. Shout out, shout out to shout out to the wise family. Oh my God, especially Marlon. Marlon, that's big bro to me. It mean a lot to me. Go ahead. Southern first. Huh? I ain't know Bruce that went to Southern first. I ain't know that. Cause you you can get that story, but you can get that story another time. 
you 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 you, you pool bear Kiko, listen, come on, bro. come on, bro. Y'all y'all gonna get that story another time. You know what I'm saying? This is about you right now. It's about you. And see, that's what I was about to say. I was about to stop you. And this, this for my uh, my guys and my and, and, and my women that that's looking at this. That's that's that, that, that's not from Baltimore. He thirteen and fourteen years old out there. You know what I'm saying? This is a way of life for some for some people. You know what I'm saying? This Baltimore life is 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 is, is, is a difference. And I know every everywhere is is a hood everywhere. But it's, it's people built different. You see all what he didn't went through, and in his head, he knew he had to put that work in. You know what I'm saying? He still, he still had a. He didn't know it at this time, but he still had a goal. He had a dream. Go ahead, continue. Respect, thank you. Um, so I hope this experience will help you to not look at Some other stuff with the ball, 
to those guys, man. Shout out to those guys, man. Baltimore, y'all know who he talking about. Y'all know he talking about. That team was stacked. You got to. I want to know about that game. I want to let me know about the game. Let me tell, who did what in this game. See now, hold up. This is for the this is for the outsiders. This is for the outsiders right here. When he talk about Shante Rogers, when he talk about when he say little nut, his name is Shante Rogers. You know what I'm saying? He killed. He's five. He's five four. He killed the city. He went to GW. Led the team in rebounding at one time. 
You know what I'm saying? The MVP, he, he probably got his, his probably got his, his jersey retired in, 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 in GW. He had an outstanding career overseas. So he talked about some guys, but go ahead, go ahead, continue to talk about this game. Tell them this though. Bill Spice and them will give you a per deal. favorite player of all times. Not saying he's the best. You know what I'm saying? Come on, because y'all 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 trolls. But my my my, my favorite guy. Now he just now say Kobe Bean Brian. Now slow up and tell and talk about. It. Don't get too fast for us. You gotta slow this up, bro. I'm 
kind of out and like, look, I'm cool, bro. I'm thinking to myself, like, what that cool thing, like, what am I like, you crazy? So what's cool, bro? We're going extra hard on <laughs> And at this time, I had, I had Hawker and, and the dude with Big Bulls, Big Bulls over the turn on my team. Shout out to Big Hot, too, man. Big Hot. <laughs> yeah. And, and the ball take Johnson with the eighth ring on the team couldn't play. He was my family team partner. The ball take the ball take Johnson. The Lord take was there for everything. And listen. Uh, listen, I, and, 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 and the Lafonte tape, listen, he spoke on you too. He going to be on the platform. He going to be on the platform. But go ahead, keep going. Yeah, that's my best one, I checked Yeah. Now, you guys, listen, when you speak on them, you got to speak on Joe. I need you to, I need you to speak on Joe. Oh, 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 because I was going to say, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. Right. Look, That when you say no, I already know. Because he, 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 he going to fuss with you about no. But go ahead. For all my New York guys that that, that be tuning in, yeah, that won the awards. We was what we was whipping y'all ass. But this 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 this, 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 this pool bear right here talk talk to you. This is some, this, this is another Baltimore team that was getting in y'all ass too. I'm yeah, I'm talking. But go ahead now. Back, back to pool bear. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I said, why you so crying? I saw him crying because I wanted to be on the A-game, man. Okay. I wasn't on the A-game, but I realized it was me, That war in the woods, that war in the woods, that war in the woods. When you and when you say Johnny, right? Uh, you know that was the and one guy, John. What was I forget his name. However, I end up going to Iceland. I I I, I play in war in the woods, but but I end up going to that Iceland team every year. He he, he take his, he take a group of guys out, and one year he had Johnny on his team. I don't know if they went to Italy or something, but he had Johnny on his team. So when we was in Iceland, the only thing he kept talking about was Johnny, Johnny this, Johnny that, Johnny this, Johnny that. So I'm pretty sure when y'all was up there, because they loved us up there, because we, we was different. You just now be, you just now be the top player, but you soaking because you really want to be on the on 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 the 18. Did did, did they will you in, or did you soak all that weekend? To the point that, like, uh, oh, hold up, we got to sit pool bed. We got to sit pool bed ass down when we get back to Baltimore. Man, this is what happened, man. I'm soaking. But it really wasn't until I got to the Right, now we now now we back right, and you were discussing Kobe Bryant. You were discussing you just now defeated Kobe Bryant, but you showed you showed a lack of your your attitude was 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 poor. You know what I'm saying? You was you was frustrated because you wasn't on the 18. So now, all right, take us from take take us take us take us further. Johnny tell me, you know, why this played against it. You know, um, it's just something you know, because your next game is just a little grid. Let grid will start to wake up to the more cards we do. And look, the very next game, then group to 44, we run through that. We run through everything. My B team run through everything, and we want to fix our B team. So we all pumped up. We high could be good. All of us be pumped up. We want to fix our B team. We end up losing in the bracket. and I reached our lead team. But yeah, man, um, that was our demonstration in Warm Woods. When I played against Kobe Bryant, or, you know, got a chance to, like I said, man, go to the same stage and perform with the great one. He was everything that you read about and see, man. Um, facts. It was all facts, man. So when I get, you know, at that time, it's a, it was a great summer. Top 10 South Wars in the country coming in. It's a great summer. You know, Mark, Mark Cucci. Team at, 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 at this time. At this time, 
for the because that it sounded like it, it, it was a team camp, right? Uh, Johnny Hensley, Kofi Pointer, Brian Kennedy, uh, Dedrick Galloway. Uh, Shout out to Dedrick. Shout out to Dedrick, too, man. When I, uh, when I was coming up, his, his jump shot was crazy. But go ahead. talk about it right but this is i'm gonna give y'all a little nutshell this this outside looking at this uh, this northeast baltimore dude looking at what he's saying is the east the east baltimore the east baltimore guys beef with the cherry hill guys is 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 a east baltimore south baltimore beef that's down southern right it always was that's what he's speaking on he trying speaking cold but Go ahead, I'm talking. Go ahead, finish. Respect. Thank you, bro. Um, you know, I don't want to do pay too much of it too much debt, but it's what it is. That's what it is. Um, so, so things transpired. I had to go to court for And the whole process, they put me out of high school. But during the process, the media is like, no, we're not having this. We're taking this to court. They can't do stuff. We take this to court. We're going to get back to court. It's a national championship run. We're ranking the nation this year. Coming in, we're like 14th in the nation. So like, I want to make this national championship fun. So he's like, no, we can do this cool. So at this time, you know, every day I'm in my house. Tommy Polly and Johnny Hensley, he's taking the SAT, he's studying the SAT, so he's staying with his lady named Lori. Coach me to come to my house with them every day at school just to watch music videos. You know, to keep, you know, keep me cool, keep me calling, but it was going to be okay. You guys, I was on the box for a couple of so, I Miss Smith, Coach Smitty's wife, ex-wife, I Miss Smith's mother, Miss Cassie, say, I'm a Cassie, say, no, I'm not going to watch you in this house month after month to wait and see what he's going to do, what the court's going to do. I know the body of Southwestern is playing in the book now. All right? I'm going to talk to him, and I'm going to try to get you up Southwestern, because you're going to be sitting down. All right? But I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, hold on, speak up. You got to speak up. I want you to speak up. I'm like, Shout out to Coach Ty Leverett, man. Listen, man, because he was one of them coaches, right? He was one of them coaches. I I, I, I heard how he talks shit. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? He had y'all guys. He had y'all guys turned up, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, finish talking, man. Hey, 
everybody like go back, yes, go back. They don't know that I only had like truly. I had one good year of high school basketball, one great year. Like my high school basketball was absolutely dysfunctional. I was on probation my freshman and sophomore year, as it was dysfunctional. You know, it wasn't until that summer when I really like when it gets cold that things like to kind of process for me. But when I, I got caught in that Charlie Hill Peace House, like, and, you know, it was like, I was going, I was going, I was going to be off again. Nothing can hit, it ain't going to get hit, it ain't going So all the scouts wrote me off, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm gone. So I get put up Southwestern, the graveyard. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you get there, what was your mentality, though? Because you, you know what I'm saying, at this time, you saying that everybody gone. I need to know where, where, where was you at mentally? Did, did you feel like, tell me, where you, yeah, tell me, I, I, mentally, where, where was you at? At this time, mentally, man. Like, I'm thinking it's all over for me. Like, I'm thinking that I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to put out every school I ever went to. So here it is, I'm a, I'm a high school, like, this is who I am. Like, this is what it is. Like, I'm not going to get a chance, like, to show my true worth. Um, man, uh, uh, it, it was so dysfunctional that uh, I, I don't want to play ball no more. Play basketball like this, that's secondary, you know. The only we out here was dying and uh, used to be alive with a blessing at this time. You know, like, like basketball was really truly secondary. Um, so, so when she get me up there, even still, like, I'm not even pumped up to play. I'm not even pumped up to play, man. Like, it's like, Bull Ridge and Don Lord, like, they, they're excited. And, and I become the third wheel, I'm, I'm with it. That's cool, we rock it. That first year of Southwestern, it was, we had Southwestern, that's good. That's the year Southwestern never had. It was beautiful. But the talent that we had, we couldn't probably get the way to think. Yeah, hold up. Y'all had Reg Johnson on that team, right? At the time, he's the best point guard in town. Now, listen, listen. And listen, Baltimore, I'm saying this. I'm saying this. A lot of y'all didn't want that. Y'all did not want that. He, I felt like he was like the Tony Delp. You know what I'm saying? And Reg know this. I told Reg this a, a bunch of times. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody want that smoke. Y'all ain't want that smoke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all. A lot of people threw up smoke screens. Oh, wow. Yeah. Reggie Johnson, shout out, man. The big bro. Go ahead. Shout out to Reggie Johnson. Um, that was Reggie Johnson, man. Um, one of the best you'll never see. Check this out, man. Um, you know, he was a starting point guard. I was a few guards. But we all guard. Guard field. We all know his brother. Great talent, man. We were too talented that we were selfish. When I got the ball, it was my turn. Red got the ball. He was too quick. I got to hold that ball for me. He holds that to me. Leading up to that game, tell us, tell us, tell us. Did you have any discussions with any any old players? Like, yo, I'm coming. Or was you real quiet, humble?
I'm sorry, if, I'm sorry to interrupt you, King. Now, let me ask you this. All right. Because you had said something to the, the Coach Leverett, right? But you're East Baltimore. You're from East Baltimore. And you're playing over West Baltimore. Right? All right. Was there ever any conflict now? Because now you like, hold up. It's competition, with, 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 it's, it's competition between each other. You know what I'm saying? Did, it, did, it, did, it, did that ever, was there any ever conflict Anything ever uh, expired after that? Um, this is why, this is why I truly believe really this, and I'm going to keep it honest with you. Because when I first got put out Southern, I was going to go up late. And the Rambler was, well, he ain't going to play in front of KD. He's going to come off the bench. Okay? So I said, well, I'm going to go with that phone. Oh, no. That's, that's in front of him. This is the Rambler going to be smart. He's smart. He won't talk this way about me. Shout out to Evans Avenue, baby. That's what that is. Yeah. Listen, no, I feel the same way. I'm from Northeast Baltimore. And West Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Carry on. Go ahead. Carry on. Respect. So, the only problem was, you know, the Rambler would always come out and say, you know, he Thank you. 
No, hold up, hold up, hold up. I wasn't gonna get, I wasn't gonna get you the danger until your senior year. Boxes already. That's all they saying. Danger, danger. Like they ain't even saying it. They not even saying it. Yo, you need to ask Kuba this. You need to ask. Them. No, danger, danger. So they ever saying like no disrespect, no disrespect for where it started. But yeah, come on, man. The man made it famous though. But go ahead, keep it, keep, keep it going. Yeah, right, right. Come on, man. you and love you at the same time. Ain't, ain't, ain't the wizard name. Because when y'all won that championship, I still remember him. He throwing the, the, the bubbly. It's not it's not real champagne, but he, he showed his ass. And I, and, yeah, I like that shit. But go ahead. Keep going. Coach Mike. Coach Mike wanted to have it. So he had that energy. He had that energy. Coach Mike wanted to have it. So he had that energy. He wanted to have it. So he had that Pride and 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 ego and love 
same time making me all the Lord. And pride making me, I apologize, the pride making me, you bet if you were close. A champ, a city championship, bro, and possibly a state championship. Now, what happened after that? After that, it's like the weeks go by. He ain't kept that one team today. Let me tell y'all. Well, let me tell you, God. Let me tell you how God works. All right, let's play y'all. I'm living with options now. I'm going to need to pick us up. I got a pink eye, both eyes. All right, so when you come pick us up in the morning, I can't even see. I'm going to go into school. I don't hurt my eyes. I can't even open my eyes. I had pink eyes, both eyes. I'm waking up with crust. Listen to me, crust like the rock of my eyes. Oh. I wake up crust like this. I wake up crying. Even I was going blind. I couldn't open my eyes with the crust. And then like, we're all going to the morning. But I couldn't open my eyes. So what happened was, I moved back with my mom. And the project. I moved back with my mom. And 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 I didn't go back to South West to school that year. Forget going to school, play at all. I ain't go to school at all. I just stayed home, bro. And, and I dealt with that pink eye thing for like three weeks. So when, when it was over with, they all stole it too. And I heard they played something again. And they played up still. That would be about like 15 or like 12 at the end, but they played them real hard. All right, so how you felt, though? No. How you felt at, at this I, time? I felt, I, I, I felt like an outcast. I felt like... I'm back in the project. My sister had just moved. So it's like me, it's me and my mother. And it's like everybody wrote me off. The scouts don't even know I play ball no more. It's like nobody knows something like outside of Baltimore City. You know? Um, so at the big stage, I'm up a on that, that universal big stage, that platform. So it was like, it was like I, I was in a place of duality. Like, you know? That could have blocked that, you know, like the hood of me, you know, always did. That's why I was always forced. My hood of me was forced. Hey, man, man, my brother, I was back to my brother once again. And me and Dion, now Earl, you know, my little girl. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to that. Yeah, every day me and Donald Earl worked out because Johnny helped me go to college. Uh -huh. um, me and Dion worked out, and me and Dion, you know, Bunny Street's together. Nothing, everything. Girls that would get me, you know, getting on. Well, we know I'm getting killed. We know I'm getting killed the summer going to my senior year. So when we know I'm getting killed, you know, it, it took my world. So I no longer want to play basketball. It wasn't forget basketball. It was dead. My East of the Hole gone. The streets ain't the same. So I, I, I just ain't. I ain't hold nothing that big. I ain't want to be. I ain't want to be friends with nobody. I ain't want to love nobody for anything. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. All right. Um, so what do I do, man? Doing my journey. I'll be born that summer. My mama coming for work. Honestly, my mama say, look, I smell the weed. You ain't gonna be getting high out of here every day. All right. If we know I was allowed here, we want you to play ball right now. You know what I mean? You won't play ball. You get back to doing that. That's when Miss Cassie, I got a call from Red, and Miss Cassie, you go down, you got to come talk about Shout out to Mom Dukes, though. Shout out to Mom Dukes, because she's seen something in you. She's seen, she's seen, she's seen, like, you was in a, you was in a slump, you was in a slump play, place, you know what I'm saying? So shout, shout out to Mom, though, because whatever it is, she, she triggered something into, into you, and you, and, and, and we got that same year. So go ahead, carry on. True story. So she called Cassie again. She got contact with Bullock again. Let me run again and I got back up there. Right. But I don't want to play basketball. So school started, the season started. Oh, you don't want to play basketball? No, 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 no. I'm not playing basketball. I don't want to play basketball. I just had my daughter, my first daughter, Taylor. But my senior year in high school, I had my first daughter, Taylor. And you know when you first have a baby, like, I don't care about the world. As long as my baby, I love my baby. And, and, and hold on, shout, shout out to Taylor, though. Yeah, cause everybody pay attention to Taylor, too. Shout out to Taylor. But go ahead, keep it going. It's like, I won't be the greatest father. That's what matters more than me than anything. I won't be the greatest father. So, um, so I'm like, I'm not playing basketball. 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 I'm not play
Listen, you know who I was thinking? I was about to just jump out there. I was going to say Earl, because Earl was your bulldog on your on defense. I ain't even going to lie. Shout out to Earl Carl, uh, and I'm coming to you, too. But go ahead. You going to give it to Dion? Go ahead. I'm listening, because cause y'all defense is crazy. So go ahead. I, I, I want to know all that. Four, three, two, one. All right, we we back at it again. Now let's let's continue talking. Let's continue talking, Paul. Yes, sir, man. At the hell, at the hell, is Dion the one to press? Pitbull is the one to press. Okay, now he's the full Dion. Okay, now he's the full Dion. Yeah, I'm perfectly 
try to find me, I'm going to be able to come to court. All right? So from there, we knew what it was. I don't fuck with you, nigga. I'm out with you. Niggas don't fuck with me. All right? Okay. We had to go like that first for me and these going to be best friends. Okay. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Understood. Yeah. Ever since that day, ever since that day, he's been my best man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to a story. This is the thing. I think Earl Clark kind of fucked me early in the year, though. You know what I mean? I think Earl on some all he shit too much, but um. I get I get to the bench quick, but I see the dysfunction. I can't get to the I can't get to the bench quick enough. But when, before I get there, I see Dion facing them off like, is it a problem? Is it, is it a problem? Say, hold on, this ain't too bad team. This is my team, and I see the ball go to Bear every time down the court. As a matter of fact, and Bear all game. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the people a description right now? And this is not for, this is not for my Baltimore people. This for my this for my people out of town. Listen, y'all seen Steph Curry right pull up for thirty and all that type shit, right? He was doing this. This is what he was doing. But he coming at you. He coming at you with a high dribble. He cussing you out. If if you listen, he want all the smoke. But listen, man, his range was so crazy. His range was so crazy. So I'm just trying to give y'all a little uh, context. When he talking about he shooting threes and shit like that, he ain't just sometimes he ain't just taking what's name threes and shit like. No, he ain't doing that. And he got the balls that he can get you the rack when he want to. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like go ahead. Like, I told you. I'm, I'm trying to calm myself down. Like, like I said, I'm. I know who I'm talking to right now on this phone. So, so, go ahead, continue talking. Listen, Earl was real cruddy. He intimidated a lot of point guards out there. You know what I'm saying? His offensive game play wasn't that. He gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Offensive game wasn't that. But y'all know. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. This Taz TV. Come on, man. We, we talking. We grown now. Y'all know what it was. Man, no, no, no. Let me set it up. Let me set this. Let me set this under this undefeated season up. What was y'all going into? Going into? Going into the season? What, what was y'all thinking? Like, uh, what was y'all thinking? Like, 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 what was Thank you again, man. Thanks for having me on. Let's start a 
Man, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Hey, Pope, like I told you before, this is Taze TV. We ain't all that, like, like, we ain't, listen, I don't care about y'all niggas' feelings. If, if he did y'all, he did y'all. And listen, Omar had a cannon too. I'm coming to you, O. Omar had a cannon too. Because my Baltimore people know what's going on. When he's saying that he mushing and this, that, and the third, listen, it's, 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 it's a different type of ball game in this time. We're gonna do intimidation. We're gonna we're gonna check it. We're gonna check his soul. We wanna know if if, you, if he's really there. And, and Pooh Bear was that guy. He wanna know if you if 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 if, if uh, I want I want I want I want to go, go deep inside of you. He, he had that in him in high school. So I know he was checking niggas soul. But go ahead, keep on going. No, we had, we right here at the city game. We at the city okay, game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the first game was the we got here when I was we doing it. So the city is showing us up. We're going to come on showing off. We have like some big six, eight. Uh, big guy, they showing off. They ain't going hard, you know? Um, and I get in my field. So we to, now we all have a game. We love how this number's going on. This is the way you play basketball. And then I'll uh, what? What? I stay on the game, you know, we start getting comfortable and, and we, we, we squeeze it out. It was about like six or seven. I had 12. It was like a, it was the most horrible game you'll ever see. Uh, we, we ended out, and the next day I cracked up, I said, see, I told y'all, touch your hair. One of these games that I told y'all, touch your hair. We cut our hair. We cut our hair. We started winning games. We started thinking basketball. We stopped being like, Childhood, right? You know, you hit me up. Mm -hmm. 
See, it's a story behind the stories. This is what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Tell the TV coming at you live. Let's go, Pooh Bear. Let's get it. Speak up, speak up now. You gotta talk up. You gotta talk up. I don't know. You gotta speak up now. I'm gonna tell you like this. The game started at first, and Kevin Bradshaw couldn't get that ball from on half court. DR was a left room. They listened to me. The first six minutes of the game, the score was 18 to 2. What? 13 14 for the country. They took this down 18 to 2. A little old Southwest. Hell no! Now listen, listen here, listen here, y'all. This Lake Clifford team that he playing against, they start off the, they start off in the top twenty five in the country. When he talking about Kevin Braswell, and he gonna be on a program, you know what I'm saying? When he talk about Kevin Braswell, he went in Lake Clifton, Main Central, and he was a standout at Georgetown University. You know what I'm saying? We got we got Corsley Edwards on his team, Corsley Edwards. Big bro, you know what I'm saying? He was a beast, left-handed, left-handed, athletic. Went, ended up going to, what, Connecticut State? I think it was Connecticut State. Somewhere up there. But he ended up, he, ended up, he, he got drafted. He got, I want to say Sacramento. I want to say Sacramento. And he worked in the lead now. But this is what I'm saying. Like, this guy right here, he ain't going to, listen, Pooh Bear, uh, Listen, Cornelius McMurray, I'm a, I'm a, uh, he ain't going to, he, he being humble right now. He being real humble right now. He being real humble right now. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm good with that because I'm going to pump it up. So, but go on. Hey, man, bro. Well, shit, I'm going to tell you like this. Like, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. Like,
We won. We win. Um, I only scored 18 points, but they have been a box to one. I said, people don't. What right? people don't know is, I'm a point guard first. I always play point guard my whole life. Okay? Um, I just got a main trigger of my back. My attention is on the ball first. So when they went by to one, I just wasn't pointing off for I told the whole team that we run the one and I'll get decoy. I'll get anybody pressed about me. They just, they just hit the shot. I was dead. I'll get decoy. I would bring the ball up. So while while Spell, Spell was the king, he didn't go Spell on the face guard. Yet. While Spell was face guard, me, uh, Tony was Spell, I just bring the ball up the court, the whole zone behind for me, I mean behind for me, and I just take my spot to put me get anybody else. I went to my point guard. So I had to you think I'm comfortable shooting. I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem. I always win. That was my whole thing. So I'm saying that we won that first game. All right, bless it. When we got to again at the city championship game, up southwest. Oh, it's going down. I'll recognize it is. We got this at southwest. Okay. The boxer won me again. I'm going to so many things that are going to but it's so heavy, man. But God is with me, man. I put a number 10 on my chest. I went number 10 for Donald Earl with Denard Ellis. Oh, oh all right, Donald Earl, okay. Okay. Yeah, Donald Earl was more number 10. Every time I put number 10 on my chest, God bless you. I'm more number 10 for Earl. So it's saying that so many things happened that game that, that I, I don't know how to even have it. It was kind of like blessings, man. Um, I hit a three point in the game, pretty much like 10 seconds left, four by one. Uh, with a big rebound from Jerome Banks. Um, man, make a long story short, make a big man look.
All right, get, get, listen, before we left off, I was telling you how how that shit took, took the whole momentum. That shit took the whole momentum. I felt as though that we had you in we we had you in check. I felt like we had you in check. Cause we, we ran the box on one. And then you hit that three. And then it was just like, ah. It was yeah, it was it was a rat for us. Now, before before I go there, because Fess was our guy. Fess and Jamal, that they, they was our leaders on the team. You know what I'm saying? So what was the uh what was the uh what what was the uh what what, what word I'm looking for? Uh, what was what was the protocol or how we want to play the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like this. It was like this. To be honest with you, we was kind of just worried about the club and 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 the music, the big stuff, right? Because our height, because you know our height, and our height was big. That's all we were about. I saw, 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 Speak up, speak up, speak up.
Now we gotta go up Douglas. See, we just played Douglas, what, two, three times already? And then we gotta go up there, yeah, house for the playoffs? Who won't beat them again? <laughs> right, right, right. Man, we go in there, they just ready. Like, we ain't already touched the ball. They pump up, they pump it, 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 they pump Undefeated, he went undefeated, and then he, how you get the boy? Nah, nah, here you go. Here you go. We need the championship, get Brad Rogers, but that's Evan, a childhood best friend, bad cool partner, and best ball of the band that's on the end, starting the one. The game is so thick. Deep ball, and I'm having to beat each other hard. And we spent nice with each other house, doing a band for your name. Everything we drink, you know, like, at this time, you know, we play a rough ball, rough house, so we, you know, we thought we were going to live right, right, bro, so disrespect. I looked at his eyes. I said, it is, bro, I love you, bro. He said, I love you, Chico. And we, we went to war, yo. We went to war, yo. And Eric Evans, when Eric Evans played, he thought that one to make that game, that was the toughest game you ever played in the league. That was the toughest game we ever played in this league. We actually get away from it. We down. Two points were like, I'm thinking like, we're like 15 something. It, it, it was second left on the clock. We're down, down. All right. It's an inbound play though. They, they celebrate. They can celebrate. Two Rocky fans got fouled up the game already. All right. They celebrate. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Because oh. uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Now, 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 with the streets saying, Mike King at the line, uh, uh, cause I'm getting, I'm getting up, I'm getting above myself. Cause you're talking about KB, right? Just before KB got in trouble, right? And, and listen, I need, I need, I need everybody to understand this, right? KB played twice. Cause that's, a, that's a, we go back and forth and we go back and forth. KB played, he took two L's cause they played them three times. You know what I'm saying? And my late Clifton dudes, and, and, and I, I felt, I felt some type of way about that. So, 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 I, I know what it is. So, KB took the two L's. They played them three times, and could, and carry on. So when Evan started for them, it was our toughest match to play. He knew me so well. I had Evan on the bench. I mean,
that man looked at me. But I'm taking the ball out of bounds and said, play your game. I got you. And I play <laughs> my game, bro. All right. Now, we end up beating Lake in the regionals, going down Cold Hill House. I end up putting the people down Cold Hill House. I own it to this day. Um, legendary. Okay, shout out, listen, shout out to Sean. Listen, shout out to Sean. Sean for the finish this part two coming up soon. So, 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 so yeah, yeah, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. So, so Sean has to move up early. He's like 12. He, he like twice the age of Sean. Speak up, speak up. Hold on, speak up, Paul. Speak up. Yeah, facts. That's all facts. So, so, that's the one on with Southwestern, and I don't think it's man's 
where I got rest of soul was six to be six four, and I was born man was five four five five. <laughs> yeah, listen, now tell us, tell us, now, because we, we just now did the overview. Before we go, before we go into college, right, I want I want to tell the people, I want to tell the people, tell the records that you done broke. How many frees in the game, you know what I'm saying? Tell the people, tell the people what you done did. This is high school. Oh, man, uh, this, this will have you put a little, uh, a little story behind it, but they can long story short. No, ain't no, no, this is, that, what I tell you. Ain't no, you don't got me no long story short. This your platform, man. This a this this a Hoover platform, man. Come on, man. <laughs> let me back to the let me back. Um, in the city, in the city, and I tell people on the city, the city record back in '97. I own it to this day. I think you know I, I never never really go doing the house basketball nowadays. But I know some great shoes that that can they probably go to Marco all day and count no more. I don't know how to go. But if you Google my name, you can see that I broke the record with 10 points in one game in the city. And I broke the record with seven in the state. And I never played the fourth quarter in both of those games. <laughs> I never, yeah. 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 My coach, Tony Neverman, didn't believe in beating up on the week. So if we up 20 going to the fourth, we're not even playing the fourth quarter, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. All year long. All year long. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? No, say it again. Say it again and you speak a little louder. I averaged 
start a play off the Arkansas with Todd Davis there going against UNLV and Larry Johnson, okay? Lee made by a legend in Arkansas. He had less than Tulsa. And James Hall, which it took James Hall, my coach, I don't want to stand my coach, my Juco coach is so serious. He a millionaire. Rich White Man is very his name is Jimmy Fortin. Jimmy Fortin. For all of us, for our scholarships, he paid for our scholarship. No school paid for our scholarship. Jimmy Fortin pay out his pocket because his father was a millionaire, and his father was Dennis Robin, Juco coach. All right? His father and Dennis Robin's story. His father was the Dennis Robin, Juco coach who told Dennis Robin, you're everything. You're everything. Okay? So Jimmy Fortin take on his father trait. He came out with the gutter. So he told him everything. He knew I was in the gutter messed up. At this point, I'm looking at it. You a city kid, so at this point, would you, would you like, man, fuck that shit? I'm about to get, I'm about to just get up out of here. Hey, listen, listen, listen. At that point, I said, I, I said, I'm gonna start the game. Get kind of turned on with me. I got a issue with it. My mother got lupus, and the time the lupus hit her hard, and like, I, I don't think she was that big. She ain't your house.
Ain't nobody there to be nothing. But nobody know where I'm at. Like, like, I'm hurt, bro. Like, I'm dead. So my only outlet is what I do better. I had to try to myself out. What are you here for? You here to play ball. You play all day and night. When I was in Oklahoma, the best shape I was ever in. All right, uh, hey, let, I ask you this question though. What made what made you play with so much passion? What makes you play with so much passion and and and, and effort? Like, what what what, what sparked you? What, what what drove you? Like early in the conversation, you said something about like I wanted all the smoke. You know, I, it was almost like I had to present that. Because I didn't want to smoke. Listen to me, bro. As a young man, though, as a child, some things I saw really messed me up. It messed me up psychologically in the basketball world. I can remember being 10 years old. A good friend of mine named Brian Jackson, his brother at the time in Somerset Projects was a money getter. And basically held the hood down, took care of old folks, but he young. Just to keep it. And Brian Jackson, brother's name was Big Man. Alright? God rest his soul. Brian Jackson was a was my age, not much older than me, but he was advanced. Because his older brother was in the game, he just knew everything, alright? So he said, he said, bro, it's some it's some Pan Am games going on with Dunbar, unlimited Pan Am games. Um, let's go watch him. Okay, I go, I follow him over there, little kid. They get that said, I go in Dunbar stands, and they're watching the Pan Am game. All right, unlimited league game, 10 years old. So, a guy comes down the court, game going on, guy comes down the court, a big 6 9 white guy, he just fouled the guy, not pretty hard, fouled him, but they go to the foul line. All right, so, while the dude shoot the foul line shot, the white guy on the side, you know, waiting for the rebound to come, I see a guy run off the bench. A guy run off the bench of the team, of the dude that got fouled. He went off the bench, and he knocks the white, he, he knocks the 6 9 white guy out. He knocked him out unconsciously, but he knocked him off his feet, and blood gushing everywhere, right? Blood gushing everywhere. And then, then, Game was over, so me and my friend we walking outside of Dunbar, walking through the projects. So when we walking, I see that same dude in the back of a drop top BMW, like, and yo, I see y'all up top, yo, I see y'all up top. All right, Joe, all right, but, and, and, and peeled off. I asked my friend, I said, yo, who who was that guy? And, and, and what? I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. The, the big six nine guy was walking to his car, and he had a nice car too. Some real, some real, real nice. And he had, his lady, white girl, had a, had a towel over his eye. He was bloody. Towel over his eye, over his eye. She put him in the car, and they drove off. I asked my friend, I said, yo, who was that guy? And why did he do that to him? He said, yo, that was Sam Cassell. He said, he said, that was Sam Cassell. And I said, why did he do that? Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know, man. Like, that was why. I don't know why he done that. All right? So, yo, as a child, 10 years old, yo, I thought this game, I thought this game was like a happy, loving game. Like, I thought this game so much. People see me, people, I had teammates in college say, man, yo, yo, you always smile. Yo, you, all you want to do is laugh and play. But when you play basketball, you don't never smile. It's like, that shit like, like you all that you fuss, like you mad on the court, yo. Like, when I saw that at 10 years old, I felt as though I'm going to be the aggressor. That will never happen to me. You will never catch me slipping like that. And he made me think that I had to play the game that way. That man messed me up psychologically. He had me thinking that I had to be like this, this, this outlaw on this court. Because if you ain't going upside my head, and I'm going upside your head first on this court. So years go by, 
Now I'm there. I'm full bear. I'm bear. These are th- I, I had this thought process half of my whole goddamn life. As a kid, it's on my mind. These things on my mind. It's on my mind. I always thought like, and then even growing up, the things I have indulged in and the things I have done and the things I know these guys don't don't really do or done or will do or have done. I know they haven't done things I've done on the streets. And it's like, why would he do that? Like, why did he do that? That little ignorant fool stuff. So one day, one day, I'm playing for the Baltimore Bell at the ABA team. No ABA team coming to town. I hear about it. I'm going to go to there. I'm going to get the game. Okay, boom. So we got a mellow gym. Got a mellow gym. So after we work out, Sam working out. Like, yeah, for bad. You got to work out with us. You got to come with me. So pretty much, you got to be down with the regime to really get that. Right. Down to get down. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, while he's shooting around, shooting the shot, I'm going to put my stuff on. It's my opportunity to ask him. It's my opportunity to ask this man something I wanted to know. My whole childhood life. All right? So, while I got my bag, while I'm walking out the gym, I said, Can I ask you a question, man? I, I never, I don't know him. I don't know him. We never talk. One day in our life. Can I ask you a question, man? Because it's bothering me growing up. I said, I, I, I gave the same story as I gave you. I'm 10 years old. I come in this Pan Am game. And I watched you run from the end of Dumbbell Bench by, the, by your wrestling room. I watched you run from that bench all the way to the other end of the court just to hit this white man. I watch you. I watch you drop this white man. I said that. I said that kind of. That kind of messed me up, Lord. I said, why did you do that, man? I'm not black. I'm black. Why did you do that? And when I asked him, he's it's like, I, I got his undivided. And she looked at me like, you was there. You seen that? You remember that? I like it vividly. I like it messed me up, bro. He said to me, Goubert, you know what, Goubert? I was foolish and I wanted to be something. I was not a, I, I was just foolish, boo man. And then he said to me, that same man is a, is a rich millionaire doctor in Bethesda. And every time he see me, he play with me and say, oh, they go, Sam, don't hit me, Sam, don't hit me, Sam. And he play with me, he feels so bad, boo man. And I feel so bad for that. Man. That's your story, bro. Man. That messed me up, bro. And I thought that, you gotta be an outlaw on that court. You gotta go hard on that court. Oh, that nigga gonna steal. You better steal him first on that court. That, that's what I thought, bro. From the from the from the great old yeah, Sam Cassell. He gave me that one. That's what he gave me. Yeah. And, 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 and from the community, gave nothing else. He put on the snow for us. But folks, you know what I mean? Like, nah, like, nah. The depression, nah. I was nothing. Nothing. Like, I, I don't know what that's. No, 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 look at it. <clears throat> now, look at it. We're, we've been at this at two hours, right? And, and I feel like, I feel like there's still more questions that I, I need to, I need to ask, that I want to ask, right? And, and this one, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all that, 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 that's, that's checking in. If y'all got some questions that y'all want to ask, uh, ask Cornelius, jump in my inbox, because I'm going to ask, because this, this is just part one. This part one. So I like to thank you again for joining the platform. You know what I'm saying? So 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 when you, whenever you ready to, we can finish this tomorrow, bro. Or whenever you whenever you, the platform open whenever you, you, you ready. So, I mean we gang. I mean next platform may be in your face. Right. Do, right. Yeah, already know how we go. So 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 <laughs> so 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 again, I thank you for joining the the, the, the podcast. Tay TV, over and out, one.